Hey, Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Blackbird. Yet another and, uh, privacy anti-telemetry Windows 10 privacy tool, although it does work on other versions of Windows. Most people probably get here because of Windows 10. It is different than all the other ones, not even close. What this guy has done, he has a portable app. You just extract it to a folder and run it. What he has done is he's taken all the problems he could find with Windows, what he found himself, what other people found, and has decided, okay, this is a tweak that isn't needed. This is a tweak that's needed. This is a tweak or a something I need to disable that nobody else has looked at, with the goal being to make a very simple to use, best out there privacy utility. So as you can see, there's not a lot going on here. There's no help about, there's no backup, restore. It's pretty much, you're gonna hit enter, you're gonna run it, and you're gonna reboot and you're done. Now, unless you have Windows updates come in, which happens, and restore stuff, you can um, rerun it. Otherwise, it doesn't have to run again. So you just run it once, set it, and forget it. So while that's running, there is a readme here with his contact where he will offer support if needed. There are some known bugs and limitations, nothing too major. It's not too uncommon with these utilities messing around with stuff like OneDrive. It's pretty well embedded. Um, here's a list of everything that it does. It's a little bit more, but you know we have 150 different tracking telemetry ad server type of thing. So it's a little more detailed than this, but just to give you an overview of all the different things that it does, really neat. The reviews on it are real good on it too. So, But if you're used to looking at these other apps, you're used to sometimes having the backup or having multiple tabs and check the boxes and there's a green and a yellow and a red settings for, you know, it doesn't have any of that. It goes above and beyond all that. So if you really just want to get the job done and you can take that leap of faith, if you will, to just go ahead and run it, you're okay. Now, worst case scenario, you can jump to a command prompt if you have a problem. And you can run, as you can see right here, blackbird-r, and that will put you into recovery mode and restore everything back. So you're not necessarily going to have, it's not like there's no way out. It's just not the interface you've looked at with the other 15 programs out there that do this. So let's see how we're making out here. I um, went off and took a shower last time I ran this thing. It took, I don't know, between 1 and 15 minutes I took a shower. So we're gonna, I'm going to hit pause because I know this is going to probably be another 5 minutes at least. And uh, well, I can show you this real quick before we do it. On my computer, I've run a couple of anti-privacy utilities just to give you an interesting comparison, if you will. Because um, I'm in a VMware here. And then my computer, I can start it up on my computer, as you can see. I have some things that he has, not all of them. As I said, he goes way above and beyond. You know, it does a check to see what's done and what's not. So it's uh, it's pretty slick. So, all right, well, give me a minute here, and I will jump right back in and finish this up. And I'd say about five minutes, and we're back, so it wasn't too bad. So as mentioned before, pretty much the program is double-click it, press it to apply, wait five minutes, reboot, done unless you have a problem with Windows updates or something along that lines again um, you're gonna be hard-pressed to find a program that does more than this does and again as I said it is kind of a leap of faith people go I'm just gonna let it do whatever it wants it's, but I think you'll find it's pretty good you can always revert you can always back up and uh, there you go give it a shot let us know what you think thanks for watching as always hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I hope we see you next time